Hey guys, YouTube Warren Hendrick here. Okay, and in this video, I want to talk a little bit about uh, what uh, happened uh, this past Friday on SmackDown. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so I'm sure, like, uh, you guys have probably seen it, but if you haven't seen uh, it yet, um, this past Friday on SmackDown, um, Triple H uh, presented Roman Reigns with a uh, brand new... Um, undisputed uh wwe universal championship bell so uh, yeah so um yeah triple h uh, presented uh, a brand new championship belt to roman reigns to represent uh the undisputed wwe universal championship belt yeah and so yeah so it appears that now uh, roman reigns is going to be carrying this new uh championship belt around rather than uh carrying the uh two championship belts with the with the WWE Championship and the Universal Championship to represent the Undisputed Championship. Yeah. So it appears that uh, it's going to be just replaced with the new uh, championship belt that Triple H did present to uh, Roman Reigns at this past Friday night on SmackDown. Yeah. So, yeah. So I wanted to just talk a little bit about that because, I mean, it's just something... This is just something that I'm really wondering. Yeah. So if you do want to see a Triple... H presenting uh, this new championship belt to Roman Reigns. I'll have a link to the video down in the description from uh, this past Friday night on SmackDown with Triple H presenting Roman Reigns with this new championship belt if you want to see it, if you haven't yet. Yeah. So, yeah. So, with a Triple H uh, like, uh, presenting Roman Reigns with this uh, new championship belt to represent uh, the uh, two championship belts from before, um, yeah, this now is the... Uh, third time in WWE history that um, they have uh, just uh, replaced the Undisputed Championship with the two championship belts with just a singular championship belt to represent the championship. Yeah. So, yeah. So, this now marks the third time in the last 21 years that um, WWE has now done that. They did it in 2002, like when uh, the brain extension originally began, like uh, Ric Flair uh, did present Triple H with the new um, Undisputed Championship belt, rather than uh, Triple H holding the uh, two championship belts with the WWF Championship and the World Championship. It was replaced with just the uh, single Undisputed Championship belt, yeah. In 2014, they uh, replaced the uh, WWE World Heavyweight Championship for Brock Lesnar. Like, after Brock Lesnar won the title from uh, John Cena at SummerSlam in 2014, the next night on Raw, Triple H and Stephanie presented Brock Lesnar with the new WWE World Heavyweight Championship belt to replace the, the WWE Championship and the World Heavyweight Championship belts. Just replaced with the single uh, WWE World Heavyweight Championship belt. And then, yeah, then this past Friday on SmackDown, we had what I just talked about, Triple H presenting Roman Reigns with the new undisputed WWE Universal Championship belt to replace uh, the two championship belts. Yeah. So, yeah, so this is just something I'm wondering. Like, why does WWE do that? Like, why do they always, like, uh, replace the two championship belts with just one belt for an undisputed champion? Like, it's something that I've really, like, been wondering. Like, I wondered it, like, uh, back in 2002 when they first did it with Triple H. I wondered it again in uh, 2014 when they replaced the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And then, yeah, then they with them doing it again, I've asked it again. Like, why does WWE constantly do this? Like, why do they, like, um, always like replace the two championship belts with just one belt like I'm, I'm not really sure like why they do it like uh does is this like some sort of like a issue with wrestlers carrying around two championship belts like uh are the two championship belts just too heavy for um a, a wrestler to carry like after a while does it just like uh get to be too much for them to have to handle uh two championship belts and does wwe just get like complaints from the wrestlers about it so then they decide to just um uh, like, uh, swap, like, uh, swap the two championship belts and just replace it with a singular championship? Is that the reason why? Or is there, like, uh, some other reason why? Like, like, uh, does WWE just feel like, like, it should, like, represent, like, a new era for championship belts, so they, like, uh, just decide they have to change the design to, like, for the title to represent, like, the two belts to re that represent a championship? Like, is that the reason why? I really don't know, like, why it is. Like, why does WWE constantly, like, uh, change uh, the um, un 
change undisputed championship belts from like the two belts to um the one championship like yeah i'm really like i'm wondering like why wwe has now done this three times in the last 21 years i really don't understand like why they are doing it and the two championship belts just never last and they're like end up being replaced so yeah i just really am like really wondering like why wwe always does do this because me personally i really do like seeing like the two championship belts being uh held to recognize uh, the undisputed champion i'm not really a fan of like when they change it to one championship but like in 2001 when chris jericho like won the undisputed championship when he like held held the two championships and even like when triple h at first when he won the championship from chris jericho wrestlemania 18 and he carried around the two championship belts i actually did prefer the two championship belts rather than like them just uh having the one championship belt when uh they uh replaced the design when uh they uh brand extension started with the undisputed championship belt yeah i really did like it more with the uh uh two championship belts being held and not the just one championship and of course like i'm sure like a lot of other people do feel the same because of course like the big eagle or the attitude era wwf championship belt and the world the big gold belt really are two of the most beloved championship designs in history so yeah so i'm sure like i'm not the only one that really does feel the way that i do about them the two uh championship belts for the undisputed championship being uh replaced with just a singular belt as beloved as uh, the undisputed championship belt was by a lot of people yeah people still have said that they did like uh the uh big eagle and uh the big gold belt uh better as uh, the undisputed championship yeah and even just like on their own like uh the two belts really are like more beloved than the undisputed championship by a lot of people yeah so i'm sure that i'm not really the only one that really does feel that way you know then yeah then in 2014 when uh they did uh replace uh the wwe championship and the uh, world heavyweight championship representing the wwe world heavyweight championship with just the single belt which like was the debut of the uh network logo on wwe television and yeah this that was the night that they started using like the network logo and they put the network logo on the wwe championship yeah i know that like uh there are a lot of people that really do he uh do not like uh the um that uh wwe world heavyweight championship that they have still used like all the years up until just this past friday right, as the uh, wwe championship belt a lot of people really don't like that belt so yeah so i'm sure that a lot of people really were like upset to see um um the uh, previous wwe championship belt and the world heavyweight championship belt be replaced by um that um belt yeah despite the fact that the previous uh wwe uh, championship belt before that uh wwe world heavyweight championship belt yeah despite the fact that like uh, that belt did kind of like receive like a mixed reaction from people it was still like a relatively new belt like it was only around for like what was it like 15 16 months so yeah so it lived like a relatively short life yeah and yeah it was still like the world heavyweight championship and people still like love the world heavyweight championship so a lot of people really were upset to see that belt gone yeah so yeah so i'm sure like that one that changing of the from the two belts to the one belt i really like wasn't very well received because people just really didn't like the uh that uh new wwe world heavyweight championship belt with the network logo so um yeah so people really were I'm sure like a lot of people really were unhappy about that even like when they did like unveil the new belt it didn't even really get like a very good reaction people were, like were like kind of like um unresponsive to it like there was no like che not really any cheering or anything for it so yeah even when it debuted people were not happy about the new belt change yeah yeah and then yeah then uh this past friday night on smackdown like i said uh yeah, Roman, ever since Roman Reigns uh, unified the WWE and Universal Championship belts last year at WrestleMania, yeah, he's been carrying around the two championship belts, helps to represent the Undisputed Championship, yeah. But yeah, then, but yeah, then Triple H then uh, presented uh, Roman Reigns with this new um, Undisputed WWE Universal Championship, yeah. And yeah, and it is like pretty much like the same design as uh, the WWE and the Universal Championship. Like it just has like a yellow background in the main plate for the WWE logo. So yeah, so it's not even really like that different of a championship. So I do kind of like wonder why they even did like uh, give Roman Reigns this new championship belt. I mean, wouldn't you have thought that if they would give Roman Reigns a new championship belt that um, like it would have been like a very different belt, the design, than uh, the um, two... Uh, 
the um, WWE and Universal Championship belt, wouldn't you have thought that it would have been like a different design? But since it is pretty much like the same design, just with like a yellow background, I really do kind of wonder like why they even bother changing it. So yeah, and it does appear that uh, Roman Reigns is now going to be carrying around this new undisputed uh, WWE Universal Championship belt rather than carrying around um, the two uh, belts with the WWE Championship and the uh, Universal Championship. That is the way that it does appear. I mean, Roman Reigns still like leave with like all three championship belts with like the um, the uh, two belts both with the WWE and the Universal Championship and the uh, new championship belt. Um, this past Friday, like, Paul Heyman was still, like, having those belts as Roman Reigns was leaving uh, this past Friday, but, and, yeah, they didn't, like, uh, Triple H, like, didn't take the belts, but, yeah, it does appear that, like, uh, they are just gonna, like, uh, get rid of uh, those two belts and just have Roman Reigns carrying around just the new championship that uh, he was presented with uh, this past Friday, yeah? So, yeah, so, I really do just, like, wonder, like, why WWE really does feel the need to always do that? Like, why don't the two championship belts to represent the undisputed championship never last and they're always replaced with a single championship it's just something that i really am always i'm constantly wondering especially now that they've done this a third time so yeah so i really just don't really understand the reason why they they are doing this all the time yeah so how do you guys feel about uh this uh, new championship like uh, do you guys like the uh new um undisputed WWE Universal Championship belt that Roman Reigns was presented with. Yeah, you'll see it in the video that I'm going to have down in the description of Triple H uh, presenting Roman Reigns with his new championship. So, how do you guys feel about it? Like, do you actually like the belt? Do you feel that it's just, like, like uh, stupid that they replaced it? Do you like, like the fact that they replaced it? So, yeah. So, I guess, like, I've already kind of, like, seen some mixed reactions to, like, uh, this new belt. Like, some people really do like it. Other people just say that it is is really, like, pointless to, like, have this, like, new championship around since it is basically the same design just with the yellow background on the main plate. So, yeah. So, it has, like, overall, like, a mixed reaction to it. So, what do you guys think about it? And, I mean, do you think that it was really necessary to do it? So, yeah. You guys can tell me what you think about it. Yeah. But, yeah. I'm not really sure, like, if this new belt is going to last and maybe they'll actually be changing it. At it again pretty soon i don't know because of course like triple h just recently like introduced like a new world heavyweight championship which like seth Rollins was crowned the first uh in this new world heavyweight championship belt um just uh not that like uh not this past weekend but the weekend before at night of champion so yeah seth rollins has now won that new world heavyweight championship and yeah and we'll see like how that works out uh, hopefully like uh it'll be like a really like uh treated well because of course like when they originally um um uh, retired the original world heavyweight championship in like two, in 2013 like uh, by that point like it was really like just like very um uh, devalued and lost a lot of prestige so yeah so hopefully they can really um do a good job of like making this new world heavyweight championship belt prestigious yeah so yeah so, and yeah and i have heard rumors that like a triple h is really going to be introducing some other championship belts Built in the future also like i don't know maybe we'll just get new designs of current belts in wwe like a new intercontinental championship belt a new united states championship belt new tag team championship belts so yeah so yeah maybe they will end up doing that but yeah we'll just have to wait and see but yeah I, as far as this new undisputed championship belt goes yeah we'll we'll see like how long it really does last and yeah but i still really do wonder like why the wwe has now like done this where they have changed the undisputed title from two belts to one for a third time yeah so yeah so i don't know has wwe ever actually given a reason for why they've changed the undisputed championship from two belts to one three times now like if, if there's like an explanation for that from wwe comment on my channel and and uh tell me if there's a reason why yeah but, but yeah i'm just really not sure why they do this all right so yeah so i just wanted to come on here to talk a little bit about that yeah, so yeah, so as I said, you guys can let me know what you think about this new one Spirit Championship belt and how you and um yeah, how you really do feel about it. Do you like it or do you hate it? Yeah. Alright, so yeah, so yeah, so I guess this that's all I really do have to say about um this whole thing with the new Unspirit Championship belt. Yeah. But before I actually go, yeah, I was telling you guys before in my last video how like uh for like pretty much like the first half of June, I got like something else like planned and and due to, like, a big movie that's going to be coming out this month. So, yeah. So, this month, we will be getting the release of uh, the new Flash movie. 
yeah, that is coming out in a couple of weeks. Yeah, well, I guess, like, it's now coming out in 10 days from today. Yeah. And, yeah, and, yeah, and this is, like, a pretty big movie. I mean, it is The Flash. Like, he is, like, one of uh, DC's uh, biggest uh, characters along with, like, Superman and Batman. So, yeah, so, despite the fact that I'm not really, like, that much into um, the DC Extended Universe films, films that much now, like, I am still, like, really looking forward to this. Like, it is The Flash. And plus, yeah, we got Michael Keaton returning as Batman. So, yeah, so that really does make me, like, really look forward to this film. I'm not really, like, uh, looking forward to this film that much due to, like, the character of The Flash. Of course, like, we know what's going on with uh, Ezra Miller. So, yeah, so I'm not really, like, in particular, looking forward to seeing him in this film. But, yeah, I am really, like, uh, really looking forward to this, like, new Flash movie. Like, with Michael Keaton returning as Batman and stuff. So, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, and this is, like, a pretty big film from uh, DC with it being, like, The Flash. Like I said, he is, like, one of DC's uh, biggest characters. So, yeah, so I really am looking forward to this film's release, yeah? And since, like, this is, like, a pretty big film from uh, DC, I figured what I would do in honor of this uh, movie being released is that I would go back and... And I'll be taking a look at, like, all the films from the DC Extended Universe so far. So, yeah, so pretty much from now up until um, when I uh, see The Flash, um, I will uh, be uh, making uh, reviews for uh, the films for the DC Extended Universe so far. Yeah. So, yeah, so I have already talked about um, Man of Steel and Batman vs. Superman, which were the first two films of the DC Extended Universe. I talked about those films, like, several years ago when uh, Batman vs. Superman was originally released. Yeah, so yeah, so I've already talked about um, those two films. Yeah, so if you want to see like uh, my videos talking about those two films, I'll have uh, my uh, I'll have links for my uh, videos about uh, those two films down in the description. I made a review for Man of Steel and I gave my thoughts on Batman vs Superman after going to see it in the theater. So yeah, so I'll have links for my videos for uh, those two uh, films down in the description. Yeah. But yeah, it's been several years since then, so yeah, so over the last several years, there have been, like, uh, several other films from the DC Extended Universe that have been released, yeah, and yeah, and to think that this year, the DC Extended Universe is actually 10 years old, so wow, yeah, it's, it's kind of, uh, sort of, uh, surreal to see that that uh universe is now 10 years old like it it felt much longer like when infinity war was released to, for uh, Mar the uh marvel cinematic universe's 10 year anniversary yeah so yeah so it really it just feels like these last 10 years have really like flown by yeah but yeah like i said uh i'll be uh, talking about like all like uh the rest of the films for the dc Sandy universe so far so yeah so i'll make i'll be having a uh, I'll be reviewing, like, all those films, and I will be giving, uh, my thoughts on, uh, the new Flash movie when I go see that, yeah? So, yeah, so, that's what's gonna be coming up, uh, up, uh, next for uh, my video, so, yeah, so, I'll have reviews for all of the DC Extended Universe films from now all through when I see The Flash, and I am likely gonna go see it the weekend that it does come out, so, yeah, so, this will probably last, like, about, like, 10 or 12 days. All right, so, yeah, so, stay tuned for my, uh, reviews for the films of the DC Extended Universe coming up next, yeah? All right, so, yeah, so th those are my plans, uh, hands for my videos up next. Yeah, so stay tuned for those, yeah. But, so, yeah, so, so I guess this is all I really have to say hey, for this video. So, yeah, so let me know what you guys think about the new Undisputed WWE Universal Championship, though. Yeah, and stay tuned for my reviews of the films from the DC Extended Universe. All right, so, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed what I had to say in this video. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.